Now I'm going to calculate the put option using the same numbers. Of course, it has to be in parity. If the stock goes up, it has to come down. So the put option and call option, they always add up to the 100% probability, right? So let's get rid of this, all the, the green stuff, which is the call option. And I'm going to introduce the put option. Of course, we use the same probabilities. The stock, we did analysis. The stock is going to go up and down the same way we did on the call option. But now I'm going to ask the question here. At 9375, if you're a put option holder, would you exercise? Of course you want to exercise because 9375 is higher than X. So the call option, of course, maximum is zero, X minus S. In this case, S U squared. So you're gonna let it expire. So the payoff is zero, right? Because the maximum is zero, or if it's negative, you take the zero. Then you ask the same question here. Is maximum zero x, that's a put option, minus s u d in this case. Well, it's 60, and the x is 55. So you're gonna let it expire. So your option, a put option, is again zero. So here, of course, if it goes to 3840, that's a good thing for the put option guy because as predicted, it went down. He was betting for the stock to go down. In this case, it's gonna be the S D square minus X. Uh, sorry, X minus D square, sorry. X minus S D square. And that's the payoff. Of course, X is 55 minus 38, 50, 40, and we get 1660. Now we have three possibilities. Of course, as a put option guy, so here, we're already out of the money for a put option guy. We're out of the money, actually. We're out of the money by $5, so the stock has to con con go down past the X and go down to our level. So the probability probably is much lower. Therefore, the premium probably is gonna be lower than what we did at $12, I remember, on the call option. So here, we're going to calculate now the probability that we did on the cool option, which is 1 plus i minus d, u minus d, to get the probability of going up 52% and going down is 48%. So if I do the calculations, it's 0 times 52% probability plus 0 times 48, and you're going to bring it back, of course, as you know, zero numerator. So here, the put option up is zero. Then we we'll do the next one. Zero times 52 plus zero times 48. Sorry, uh, 16. 60 times 48 divided by 1.35. And if I do the calculation, I get um, seven 66, and that's the C, so that's the P down. To actually calculate P as a put option, we take zero times 52 plus uh, 766, right? 760, uh, 66, yeah, times 48 divided by one period back. And if I do the calculation, I get P, this one here, I should put it here, P actually is um, $3.54. By the way, the, both the call option, the put option, I did an example, the previous video, check the call option, it's all about the European style calculation. If we do an American option, there's some subtle differences here on the payoff, but uh, let's stick with the European option. So in this case, the put option is priced at uh, 354, which means the stock is out of the money, the stock has to go down and go down. So the break even will be 55 minus 354. So the stock has to be at 51, 46, I guess, before you make money. You're already in the money below 55, 
but even the prophet said that below 5146. So that's the two-stage put option, European option, using a binomial option pricing model to calculate put option. 